Heyo, what is going on YouTube? I'm your host Biscuits and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be customizing the Albany VSTR. This vehicle is primarily based off a Cadillac CTS-V in real life. The Albany VSTR can be had for just under 1.3 million from the legendary motorsport website. I can do? At all? Okay, so starting off with the armor and brakes. All right, for the front bumpers. This looks like front bumpers is just AKA splitters. I don't know if I like any of those. So let's just leave that stock for now. Go ahead and go all the way up on the engine. Exhaust, we have a few different options here. Some side exit action. Aluminum twin bore exhaust, we'll go with that. All right, for the grill, we'll go ahead and do debadge so it's nice and clean. For the hood, we're going to go with the vented hood. I think that looks pretty appropriate. Hood catches, absolutely not on a Cadillac. Horn, we'll leave stock, lights. We will go ahead and do the xenons on this. Okay, so for the liveries, a little black stripe action, white stripes, two-tone, number five red, number five blue. Okay, it's kind of an interesting look, the Geo. Got the atomic drifter, offset camo. There it is, another camo. Albany Racer and the Jet Sam. Yeah, I'm not really crazy about any of those liveries, so we'll just go ahead and leave it looking clean for now. Mirrors. Technology and budget go ahead and do primary for the mirrors. Plate, we will go yellow on black. Respray, let's do that last. Roof, secondary roof, carbon roof. Let's leave that stock. Side skirts. Street skirt, carbon, race, carbon. Okay, we'll just throw on a street skirt for the spoiler option. Low level, ducktail, carbon ducktail. Wow, this. <laughs> Those spoilers look absolutely hideous on this vehicle. Okay, so the only logical option is going to have to be the ducktail spoiler. So the difference from stock to ducktail, if you guys can see, it adds a little lip spoiler on the roof, at the very edge of the roof. So if you look, there it is, a little, a little something extra. So let's go with that. I like it. It's subtle. Suspension, we'll go ahead and slam this baby down all the way. Transmission will go all the way up on that. Turbo, of course. Vortex generators. No, we will leave those off. So for the windows, we will go ahead and limo tent. All right, so I think we just have wheels in the respray. So let's go ahead and so we got, so it looks like the grill, the trim of the grill is chrome, as well as a couple other pieces on the front bumper are chrome as well, and that is not an option to remove as well. There's chrome, there's chrome as well on the trunk. So let's go ahead and find some wheels that are going to complement the chrome. Normally I'm not a fan of chrome wheels, however, for this Cadillac build, it kind of makes sense.
All right, there we go. We're going to go with the uh, Mercy with the chrome lip. Looks very clean. So we will go ahead and do black on the wheels, which is obviously just the uh, middle part, the insert. Bulletproof tires, of course. Okay, now we just have to do something for the respray. All right, so we're gonna go with the graphite on the paint. I kind of wanted to do it black, but I have several vehicles that are already black, so I want to kind of do something a little bit different. So it's not quite black, but it is close. So we will go ahead and do graphite on that. Uh, for the pearlescent, we're going to leave it as is. I think that bluish silver looks very nice. All right, that is everything. Let's go ahead and get this to the ground, do a sound test, and a little cruise around the city. All right, so here is the sound test. Sounds very nice. Definitely sounds like a muscle car, how this car would sound in real life. Yeah, I think this thing looks is looking pretty sick. Came out very well. I like that the headlights turn on those two running lights down there near the bottom of the front bumper. That's very clean looking. Tail lights look sick. I mean, this pretty much spot on to a Cadillac V. Minus the grill is a little bit different. Alright, so acceleration is not bad. Top speed's not bad at all. Let's see how the braking is. Not terrible on the braking. The uh, the handling is actually as you would kind of expect it to be for this type of vehicle. Alright guys, well that is pretty much going to do it for this video. Overall, the Albany V-Star is a pretty fun vehicle to own and drive in GTA Online. If you guys have some extra cash laying around, definitely pick one up. If you're a fan of Cadillacs, then definitely pick one up as well. If you guys enjoyed this video, please drop a like. Also consider subscribing for more content just like this. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Peace out.